Thanks for staying with us. Over to some major national news now. It's been voted in by the Rajya Sabha today to impeach Calcutta High Court Judge uh, Justice Sumitra Sen. Now, in the first televised impeachment proceedings ever, the Upper House voted 189 to 17 in favour of Justice Sen's impeachment. The motion was first passed by voice vote and then through division. Since the motion was passed by more than two-thirds of the members present and voting, it will now go to the Lok Sabha within a week. If it is approved by both the Houses of Parliament in the same session, the motion would go to the President who can order the removal of the judge from office. A special committee constituted by the Rajya Sabha Chairman Hamid Ansari had found charges of financial irregularities against Justice Sen to be correct. He is accused of misappropriating nearly 24 lakh rupees in the 1990s when he was a lawyer and was appointed receiver by the Cal uh, Calcutta High Court. He is uh, the first High Court judge to face impeachment proceedings in the Upper House. Well, the Sensex today fell by 371 points to close at 16,469. Nifty also at a 52-week low, closing at 112 points in the red at 4,994. Markets were trading weak concerns of another rate hike due to high inflation. All sectoral indices are or in the red uh, with IT banks metals uh, leading the fall. The BSE IT index uh, was down by 3.83% on the fears that clients will cut back on spending. World stock markets continued to see weaknesses due to global economic worries, particularly the debt crisis in Europe. Investors will be keeping a close watch on US inflation data and home sales data that is due to come out today. Well, the food inflation, on the other hand, also falls to 9.03% for the weekend. This dip uh, comes in comparison to the 9.90% in the previous week. This is what the Union Finance Minister had to say. As I always maintain, these weekly figures are not of any firm indication. Though food inflation has come down from February 2010 till 6 August, 2011 substantially. In February 2010 it was 22% and today it is 9%. Staying with the national news now, the CBI has started raids on properties and companies related to YSR Congress uh, leader Jagan Mohan Reddy. This after the Andhra Pradesh High Court ordered on August 10th a full CBI probe into the alleged increase in his assets uh, disproportionate to his known sources of income. Well, in a surprise development, Rahul Gandhi has just uh, this morning reached the Maval area near Pune where three farmers were shot dead last week by the police uh, while they were protesting against land acquisition. Rahul is currently visiting the house of uh, Kantabai, a woman who was killed in the protest. He has already visited the house of uh, Siam Rao uh, Tupe and is expected to then go on to the house of the third victim. Well, due to the heavy and continuous rainfall in the north, many major rivers are in spate, uh, even as floods continue to impact several villages in Uttar Pradesh. Heavy rain in Uttarakhand has uh, prompted the government to ask tourists and pilgrims to postpone their visit by a week. The administration has sounded a red alert in the state. Schools will be closed for two whole days. And ahead of the auspicious festival of Ganesha Tutri, uh, the Minister of Rural Industries, Shan Magavelu, and, uh, had really uh, inaugurated an exposition to showcase various idols and other auspicious objects. Take a look. We leave you with these special visuals. Uh, thanks so much for watching and good night.